Well, it's a really exciting time to be involved in the winery industry in Virginia. It's just exploding. I think we're hearkening back to our roots of historically being first in, uh, first in wine. This is a family-run operation. Linda and I are down here almost all the time. Our daughters and, and granddaughters have been a major part of the operation. And I grew up on a, on a big cattle ranch in the high desert country of Oregon, and if you wanted beef for the table, you raised it, or if you wanted a garden, you raised it. If you wanted beer or wine, you made it. My mom was the beer and wine maker of the family, and I've been a, uh, a horse breeder and a horse trainer. I'm a so-called natural horse trainer, uh, but uh, horses are a real love of mine. I've also planted a grape and kind of rolled the dice a little bit and planted the grape that I'm the first person in Virginia to have, and I've actually bottled only the uh, second vintage of it ever bottled in the world, and that's called Crimson Cabernet. We've also concentrated on trying to make some uh, some handcrafted wines and concentrate on those that we do the best. Most of our, most of our wines have a, have a name of some sort that means something to us, but it kind of also goes to our, our nature that we like to say that we take our wines and winemaking very seriously, but not ourselves. Well, I will tell you, it's a real honor to be uh, included in the, in the Whiskey Wine Loop, and we're quite honored to be a, to be a part.